All right, guys, and welcome back to the channel, Simply Reefing. Uh, today, we're over here with Joe at Trash Panda Aquaculture, just checking out their facility. Uh, they have an awesome uh, setup here that I just wanted to go in and check out. A lot of tanks. Uh, he told me it's about 2,600 uh, gallons or so um, total, just the roundabout number here. So we have several eight foot uh, long uh, raceways that they have um, going on in the system here. Right now, a couple of the tanks that you can see there are lit by T5s. Um, we have this one here that we're looking at, which is actually being filtered by uh, a lot of the pulsing zinnias, um, which is a great filtration for a lot of the old school uh, reefers there. It does well uh, with uptaking nutrients like nitrates and phosphates. So just panning around here, we got a couple more tanks filled with a lot of the rock flower zoas, <clears throat> the rock flower anemones actually. Um, we have some uh, bubble anemones. We got a lot of, a lot of things going on in a lot of these tanks. Um, there's a nice uh, fire nem. And we're looking at another system here, which uh, also houses a lot of the um, LPS and some of your SPS stuff, a lot of blastos, um, torch corals, a lot of different variety he has going on here and a lot of beautiful frags and full colonies um, in both of these and pretty much all of the tanks here. So right now we're going to go ahead and cut the flow off and, <clears throat> excuse me. We're going to cut the flow off here and show you guys what we have going on underneath all of this shimmer that's happening from the ripples. And as you can see there, there they go. There goes all the frags. Um, these are pretty much all ready to go. They should be available on this site. Um, so if you guys ever want to go and check it out, I'll make sure I put a link for uh, his shop down below. But just take a look here. There's this rack here with uh, this beautiful uh, mushroom coral in it. And we decided to go ahead and do some uh, do some stuff here with a chalice you'll see in a second. There was a wonderfully colored chalice uh, and it's been growing into a bowl. And we decided, you know what, let's see if we can make it float. And there it goes. So we're gonna go ahead and move on here to a couple more of the other tanks. Uh, taking a look at the uh, beautiful Bictinia here. It actually had a few of the Bictinias, uh, a couple of the rainbows and a couple of the standard ones. Um, you see the torch just waving along there in the flow. So <clears throat> right now this is primarily uh, a lot of the LPS. Um, we have some plate corals, uh, canthophilias, button corals. We've got uh, lobos in here. You name it, it's in there. Also, you can check out that beautiful uh, Rhodactus. So here goes the extent of the other LPS system. As you can see, all the euphilias, uh, torches, We've got some SPS hiding out in here also. And that wonderful uh, black and white uh, long fin anemone, or not anemone, geez, long fin uh, clownfish there. So here's another system that we were looking at. Uh, again, still a lot of frags, a lot of full colonies in here. A lot of these things need to get cut up and uh, put onto uh, their frag plugs and things like that. But he really just likes to grow these things out, um, just like any hobbyist would. So we're just going to take a couple, uh, a couple minutes here to look at a lot of these corals in the tank and I will definitely let you guys just uh, take this all in but um, it was a fun time here I spent a couple hours just uh, talking with Joe about the tanks and everything that he plans on doing we're gonna he's pretty much gonna end up redoing all of these systems here um, cleaning them out breaking them down tightening them up and uh, getting everything uh, nice and neat so we can uh, start taking some photos for the uh, the website here this is a wonderful bounce uh, mushroom that he showed me. And practically there's almost every mushroom that I saw in there had, had some bubbles or some type of vesicles on them. So um, a lot of availability uh, in all of these systems. And there is one big surprise that I actually fell in love with um, while I was there. And it should be coming up here in a moment, but right now we're just taking a look at a lot of the uh, brain corals. Uh, these are all lit by T5s right now and um, they looked awesome. So here it is. This is the Hellfire uh, anemone. 
Uh, it has since been sold, but I am hoping that he gets another one back uh, in his possession there. It was an awesome coral. Definitely don't touch them with your bare hands. Um, the name does apply. It is a fire coral and it will sting fairly well. And here we're just checking out some more of the Blastos. Uh, had a large variety of, of different ones going on in the system. Got some torches here and he did have some other ones. I, I didn't get a chance to capture those on camera, but he had all the, uh, the different uh, um, torches available out there on the market right now. So like I said, got a lot of things going on in here. And if you guys see anything that you like, like I said, the link will be down in the description. You can go and check it out. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go and leave you guys with a couple more minutes um, of video on these uh, corals, and I will check you guys on the next one. Peace.